uh, yeah, I um, I just really appreciate that conversation we had uh, last month because, uh, uh, as you know, I am writing a book and I'm also beginning as a coach and uh, and uh, teaching dance, and uh, especially during this virus season, I found myself a little bit stuck in terms of uh, say getting things done. Or, beginning doing more things i do feel i did feel the impulses and the need to step up and yet i was uh, at the same time feeling uh, pressure by okay having to do something or having to have a plan for it and um I, in the conversation you know what surprised me the most was that uh, when you asked me about the thing i love doing which uh I would very happily answer to teach uh, contact improvisation in the dance class. And, and, uh, and then I remember just saying to you the thing that I always know to be true uh, for me uh, about, it's not just about how much I love the activity of teaching that dance class, but actually the way that I naturally do that. And, uh, and uh, you know, saying that, I feel a little bit hypocritical now of myself. I'm like, oh my gosh, you, you teach people so easily and then on your own, you, you struggle. But then um, what you, in a way, call me out for is that you ask me how I do my thing. And then that, that not exactly what you ask, but the essence of that, you know, how do you do your things? Whatever that thing is. And, and uh, you know, I remember I just said to you, yeah, I went to the dance class and I smile and when I met someone who's new to the form, I smile at them and then I asked them to try this, something very small. And then I just leave one more small thing, one more small thing after uh, a few times and then the people begin to feel more comfortable and they are ready to go and to explore. And um, I, I remember that you paused me and, and you're like, hey, do you hold on and do you remember or do you hear what you just said? You know, this is this is it. This is your essence. And so, um, you know, and maybe uh, I wrote down that, and I, I've been posting that on uh, I, on a piece of post-it note on my laptop. I just wrote it down. This is how I do my thing. Uh, smile, try this, something small, and uh, it has been a very important reminder for me for a lot of other things. Um, an example of the uh, how that has changed other things I do is that my writing, for example, I was a little bit stressed out with the deadline and the big outline, some season and that. And, and then I realized, no, Quinn, that's not how you do things. You don't have a big grand plan and then you like do them. It's just not how you do things. And uh, I was very uh, uh, reaffirmed by that because when I began sitting down to do my writing now, I actually don't look at the outline as much anymore. I, I, I did spend some time uh, reading that note of smile and then I smiled because well, I wrote that to myself so I got to remember that. And it feels very uh, familiar, you know, like coming home to the way I am, uh, uniquely and very enjoyably uh, the way I am. So I smile and then I wrote a few random lines uh, and then I wrote a few more random things that may not be useful at all, but then I was launched into my own exploration. And, and writing for me always felt like an exploration rather than writing off some outline. And, um, you know, it's so satisfying to see that the, the way I am, the way I do things spontaneously and explorative, it can be so easily translated into other domains uh, just by a reminder like that. And, uh, you know, not just in writing, but even in conversation. And now I bring that into my coaching and I just do the same thing. I smile and I say, try this and then try something else small and then try something else small. And then uh, very quickly, the people that I talk with uh, begin to go on their own exploration. And, and then at the end, they had so much fun and got so much out of it. Um, and yeah, the, the, I mean, that's really the chain that you can see from the outside, but I think what's happened on the inside for me is kind of a, 
it's a very it, it softened my own like uh, I gotta do that way or that way or the way that it should be. Uh, it's not that I am being too critical, but I think there's always an element of distrust of my own genius. Um, and um, it's just the mirroring that you gave was so needed because, yeah, I feel hypocritical myself. I do it with other people so easily, and then, you know, on my own, I don't. And it's just like, oh gosh, I need that reminder. I need that mirror. So, um, what it helps is really that reaffirmation uh, of this way of being and the way I am. Um, so, thank you so much, Yama. Yeah,